Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay, sir. So um, the definition, principal mm -hmm. elements, and uh, the type of plants I researched. Okay. So the definition is um, basically the approach to architecture that connects the uh, occupants of a building mm -hmm. with nature either indirectly or directly so for direct uh, experiences of nature refers to like air light water animals plants weather natural landscape all the natural features and then indirect uh, experience of nature uh, denotes um, you know natural using natural colors using natural uh, forms forms that depict nature um, raw, uh, using raw materials, uh, naturalistic forms and shapes, the simulations of natural air and light, mm -hmm. and uh, to evoke nature by using natural char characteristics such as uh, uh, the structural design of the building and the biomimicry of the building and okay. uh, natural geometries, etc. Okay. So uh, basically, um, the uh, the biophilic design is basically something a, a kind of design that promotes sociological and f uh, psychological benefits um, for the for humans and occupants in in within a building so uh, to to connect us to the natural world basically so that's the main characteristic of the whole thing um, elements uh, of the design include plants and vegetation. There's mm -hmm. air, there's fire, there's water, there's light. My and fire. then, say? What do you mean, fire? Like the color, warmth, movement that uh, basically mimics the nature, the indirect uh -huh. use of nature. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yes. So, Okay, then we come to principles of bio biophilic design, which mm -hmm. are their environmental features, which we earlier discussed, the geology and, and la landscape features, etc. Then there are natural shapes and forms, which are botanicals, animals, shells, um, processes and patterns, such as uh, the, the transition to uh, for, for the experience within the the place, uh, like the rhythm used or the balance, you know, all these design elements. Mm -hmm. And then um, light and space, like uh, to, to for obviously for the euph euphoric feeling within the interior space uh, with the lighting used and all. And then uh, the relationship place based relationship, which is that the relationship of the place of the building with its historical, cultural, geographic, and spiritual value, which is within, like for example, uh, falling water. Okay. Uh, that is a very good example. Uh, evolved human nature relationships um, uh, uh, between men and nature, uh, which is uh, which uh, causes a lot of emotions like uh, the curio uh, to, to enhance the curiosity and entice to, to make the place enticing, um, creating um, feelings of affection and, and euphoria and all these things. Uh, and, and, the, and also the feeling of discovery. Uh, you know, as you, for example, when you go in a jungle, you know, it's all um, trees and like there's a feeling of discovery in it okay. so um then i laid down the benefits of biophilic architecture in different kinds of spaces for example office design hospitality mm -hmm. design educational mm -hmm. spaces um retail spaces and homes <clears throat> okay this is not a point okay so, um Okay. 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 Do you have more? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, and then uh, for that, like these are uh, studies done uh, about them that created uh, uh, benefits towards um, 
the indoor environment, for example, uh, in, in offices, productivities can be raised. It plays 8% of the, the role of increasing productivity because of the feeling it forms in the environment. Uh, the well being by 13%. Creativity also can be boosted and uh, um, absenteeism can be reduced basically mm -hmm. and then hospitality designs uh, um, uh, they they can guess prepared to pay 23 percent extra for rooms with be better views basically you know everyone chooses better views wherever they go so mm -hmm. obviously that that also promotes hospitality and then for educational spaces a, a study shows that uh, it boosted learning rates from 20 to 25 percent with the improved outcomes and and you know reduced adhd system symptoms in students and everything and then for retail um, um, obviously uh, it, 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 it increases the number of customers uh, and the percentage of customers and everything and within home you know uh, it makes a more peaceful and restorative environment so uh, for vegetation and plant life specifically um, uh, I did uh, the research on a few type of plants okay. that uh, are, are towards uh, indoor sustainable green building. Mm -hmm. um, so sedum is a collection of uh, hardy and fragile succulent annuals and perennials that grow 37 to 30, 36 to 37 centimeters tall with a few colors and shapes. And then uh, there's another type that is allium um, which has different types also here, which are stated. And then there's bromus, there's angustifolia, there's uh, this globe master, cernum, and et cetera. And then there are herbs, which are, um, there are a few different types of herbs also, uh, like this uh, festuca, weef para, and all these. Uh, uh, these are plant uh, types. For the each, the name, uh... For each name of the, the plant, you put a picture. Uh, I put uh, here. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, flowers only. Flowers for the shrubs, I think. Yeah, but the, not the all plant, like uh, yeah. yeah. The earlier one that you mentioned is uh, for plants, right? Yes. Might we have a different uh, different uh, picture? I believe. Okay, yeah. Because the name. I I only familiar with a few, but not all. Maybe mm -hmm. uh, which I can uh, identify. Okay, so I'll, I'll attach pictures for everything. Yes. Uh, also about that, I wanted to ask uh, earlier. Uh, you said that in the report, it's mostly mm -hmm. writing, no pictures, and I can include the pictures in the presentation. But as I'm writing for the report, should I like? Add all the pictures with it, like maybe uh, like yes, make a yes. table. I believe it's better to to put a picture together with the uh, description easier. So I can mm -hmm. like uh, do something like uh, a table and then write the names and then put the pictures. Okay. Yes, that way. Uh -huh. And then uh, put the common name, uh, in and also scientific name. Don't put only scientific. Okay. I'm not sure that you, uh, what do you put there? Uh, is it a scientific or a common name? Okay, okay. Yeah, because um, it looks like you are putting a scientific name, not the common name. Common name is something, uh, a familiar term. Yes, more uh, English sound compared to this uh, scientific name. <laughs> yep. Come on. Yes. Cheers. Yes. Usually, um, uh, photos will provide uh, names like that. Mm. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Anyway, so, um, besides that, I think uh, is there under is there more? Um. Uh, no. That's all for now. And plus oh. a few of the um. Uh, Articles I found from uh, Google Scholar. Okay. Uh, so there's a few very nice ones like okay, this was mostly basic. Yep. 
but this is a good one. Mm -hmm. This is uh, from from whom? From Al Musaid, uh, 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 professor. I see, Denmark. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there are a few. I'm still looking for more. Obviously, I will thin it down to the best ten, but uh, I'm still I'm still on it. Um, okay, let me see again the principle of biophilic design because it didn't it didn't um, have the architectural um, principles inside this. But you have uh, environmental features. Uh, okay, uh, those are looks the, the 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 list that you put there is not principle. It's uh, elements. Water, air, sunlight, those are elements, you know? Mm -hmm. Then natural shape and forms. Um, you are mentioning uh, botanical animal shells. Those are uh, elements, not principle. Straight lines mm -hmm. and right angles are resisted by the shapes. Arches, vaults, uh, domes. Also, still, it is a um, combination of... Elements. Yes, it's elements, not principle. Principle must be... I believe you already learned uh, principles in design. Mm -hmm. Yes. So yeah. uh, you principles in design with biophilic as the uh, a new uh, restrict. It's not restriction. Uh, uh, additional um, additional uh, parameters to your uh, element. I mean, sorry, uh, principle. So mm -hmm. you must if you know the principle or design, then at uh, biophilic. So, for example, um, principle in design, uh, we, sorry, principle in biophilic design, um, you must identify the element first, right? The element mm -hmm. that is important um, is uh, uh, light, uh, water, uh, soil, that's a, it's a good one that you already mentioned, and then animals, mm -hmm. okay? And then, um, how does it, how does the principle look like by these elements? Is actually uh, um, placement of these uh, plants outside the building, mm -hmm. inside the building. If it is outside the building, how these plants help uh, the building? Is it shading? Is it giving um, additional patterns to the building? And then mm -hmm. if it is inside the building, so you must, um, I, you must uh, segregate more um, departments of um, uh, principles, okay? So mm -hmm. um, one is inside building, another one is outside building. So there are a few principles in this. For the inside building, how? Outside building, how? And then plants, it must be facing the uh, sun, uh, rising sun. Mm -hmm. So that it will get the best benefit from the sun. They wanted to grow, they need sun, right? So at the same yeah. time, the position of the plants, which is the east, will help the building to get shapes. Mm -hmm. So these are the principles in biophilic design. So mm -hmm. you need to um, uh, you know, um, write this properly and then uh, maybe you can find more information of this in other, uh, other journals or thesis maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, this can also be described in uh, diagrams if you have. If you found, okay, uh -huh. mm. so it will be easier for you to describe. Yeah. Okay. So um, and then uh, if it is the building, uh, uh, for example, the plants is inside building. How the ventilation of the building together with the plants? Is it uh, only uh, you can? I mean, uh, is if it is, is it solid or you must have? Uh, naturally ventilated. You must see this. If it is mm. uh, naturally ventilated, what is the minimum percentage of uh, the wall, for example? Um, if, for example, there are four walls. Um, mm -hmm. Minimum of uh, maybe 10 to 15, 20% uh, of the wall must be naturally ventilated. Example. You can find mm. this in the journal. 
Okay. So with that, um, you you will understand the principle of biophilic design better. Mm -hmm. Those what you, you are putting here, uh, natural shape and form, natural patterns and process, those are still the elements, not yet principle. Okay, for example, those you are mentioned here, rhythm, ratio, scale, uh, richness, fractals. Okay, those are the principle in design, but it didn't, um, it didn't contribute how this uh, rhythm, ratio, uh, connect with biophilic, mm. right? So for example, rhythm uh, in biophilic design, how does it look like, mm. right? Is it, uh, yeah. uh, how does it, uh, you know, uh, in, the, in terms of um, uh, placement of plants to the building, what is the distance so that it have nice rhythm? The distance mm. between plants to another plant or between plants to the building? So these are the things that we are uh, asking, finding about the principle in biophilic design. Okay. Ratio and scale. This is, is a very good uh, points that you already point you already mentioned. You just need to mm. elaborate. Mm -hmm. Light and space, also a good one. Um, so when you have plants inside building, for example, um, mm -hmm. the uh, light will enter the building so that it will help the plant to get lighting lights from the sun, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, well, how many hours does the plant need light? For example, mm. uh, from morning to the afternoon only. Okay. Mm. So, for example, morning to afternoon is after Fajar, which is 7, until afternoon is 12. So, there will be 5 hours. Okay. For 5 hours, what is the um, ratio of the building opening that able to receive five hours of sunlight. Oh, yes. Okay, so you need to see, okay, for the five hours of sunlight, okay, the opening would be um, the window uh, to the uh, top and then maybe uh, half of the roof also need to be uh, open uh, with uh, open skylight, maybe. Or open okay. to the uh, open to the sky without skylight, without sunroof. It's up to you. But the thing is, these are the things that um, the plants need to live um, together with human. <laughs> yes. So uh, place based on relationship also quite good. Um, uh, historical, cultural, geographic. This is um, uh, quite. This is a, maybe a bit more complicated because um, uh, geographic, for example, um, there are a few uh, plants that only able available in different country, only available in Malaysia. A few a few things only, right? Other countries mm -hmm. we have different plants. Uh, so uh, it's up to you. You how you wanna put it in the in the journal, all right? This topical study mm. and um, cultural, cultural. It's up to you. If you want to add in, you'll be nice. If you think it's too much, it's all right. Never mind. But it can be quite interesting. For example, uh, certain culture in uh, the world. For example, uh, Japan. They are really like to do bonsai, right? Mm. So bonsai. There are a few types of bonsai um, uh, plants that they only use, and then um, these are the culture. Because bonsai don't, uh, other other kind other culture don't don't understand uh, bonsai until they mm. see Japan Japanese do it, and they sure. uh, they have their own style. They have their own methods of taking care of plants, right? Mm. So these are the uh, things that actually quite deep uh, to to talk about, uh, mm. but it can be interesting. I don't, I'm not sure about other countries, but for example, like India, Bangladesh, they love to have, um, they love to have, um, how to say this, um, plants that is a lot of waters because they like water elements. 
For example, yeah. uh, architect, architect Geoffrey Bawa, if you find, Geoffrey Bawa is very, very good in this um, biophilic architecture. But in his time, it is never mentioned about biophilic. He's only talk about a subtropical uh, architecture. Mm -hmm. But his design is very, very biophilic. Yeah. Ah, uh, Geoffrey Bawa is uh, yes, he is. Uh, I think he's Bangladesh or Sri Lanka. I can't remember, but his projects are around that area: Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, uh, India. So they have he have a lot of uh, very beautiful buildings. Mm. Mm. Okay, so um, uh, need to elaborate more on the principles. Benefit. Mm. Yes, uh, uh, so far is quite good, but um, for a topical study, uh, you need to elaborate, for example, one point office design, you need to elaborate maybe um, four more word, four more sentences. Mm. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe, uh, and then um, add, add uh, I think, add pictures if you. But they want later. Okay. Yeah. All right. But um, are you you almost? Uh, I think you almost covered everything: office, hospitality, education, retail, home, and then any more. Mm, that's all. Oh, okay. That should be okay. Mm hmm. Mm. All right, so a little more detail and elaboration with yes. diagrams and pictures, if I can. Yeah, and, because uh, yeah. Um, for the principle, it's very hard to explain with words, right? So if you find diagrams, it will be uh, easier for you to, uh, to describe. Yeah. Then um, uh, there are methods to... to uh, put in the pictures. Whenever you put pictures, you must use a figure one and then figure one, figure two, figure three, and then you, uh, the, the, how to say this, the formatting of the yeah, proper report format basically yes. with referencing yes. a APA and all. Yes, correct. Okay, appendix and all that, right? Yes, Each that would appendix. be later. That would be uh, need more uh, time for you to do. Whenever you already have the compilation, would be good. Mm. Okay. Um, okay. So far, so good. Uh, let's uh, scroll from the start. And I just wanna. Uh, read back if I miss anything else. All right. Definition. Okay. Okay, this is okay. I already read this. Second <laughs> one. Is... So there's definition, uh -huh. characteristics. This is then the L characteristics. What is characteristic? But this is quite brief. It's just almost the same thing as the definition, but like in, in a little more explained way, the psychological and uh, uh, sociological um, components within uh -huh. biophilia. Okay. Um, can you find, if you can find, uh, what, when is the biophilic design is uh, first mentioned by, and by whom? Uh, because, okay. because during my time as a student and mm. during my time when I'm working after a few years, I haven't uh, heard about this term, biophilic design, until, uh, until a few years back. I can't remember mm. when, but you might like to find 
I think I read it somewhere. Uh-huh. Uh, wow. I read it in one of these reports, but I don't remember. I'll find it again. When I first introduced the first the first person to to use this term, is it? Yes. Just um, yeah. Okay. Huh. This is one maybe. I don't know. Maybe you can find the uh, yeah. better. Oh, no, 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 okay, okay, okay. You don't want to be left alone. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, I think I give you more time to, to um, detail up a few more things. Okay. But you already um, exit for page, right? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, yeah. It, no, it's, it's fine. It's okay. It's okay because um, there are still a lot more uh, important things need to add in. So uh, hmm. you have to. Maximum is eight, right? Uh, I don't... I don't mind if you do longer because if you do longer and actually um, uh, very uh, good in detail, uh, go ahead. Uh, you can do more. Uh, and then um, so there's no limit. give good marks. Okay. Mm -hmm. So because me, I, 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 use, I, I like to do <laughs> more pages. I see. I'm usually very detailed with what I, what I want to put. Okay. So, okay. No, yeah, uh, I, I let you uh, freedom. If you can do more, better. Okay. Yep. Okay. I think that's all for. All right, all right, good. Um, uh, continue with your uh, study with this, and then. Um, then we see you again next class. Okay. Are you comfortable with 2 p.m. Thursday? Yes, sir. Okay, then I'm we, fix, we fix uh, 2 p.m. Thursday then. Okay. And, um, sir, what did I want to ask you for? Um, oh, yeah. If, if uh, it's possible for you to send the recording of this video, because... Oh. Uh, to review it. All right, all right. Definitely. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you. Take care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay.